of you who design, develop, even write, you can all do this. I want you to see differently. Take a look at your experiences, the user, the UI, the look and feel. Let's take a look at this one. Take off your glasses if you're wearing them, or squint your eyes. Can you see the little link that says mobile, the blue text on a black background? That's what it's all about. What if it's on a mobile device? OK. So as, as we age, if I'm you know, over age 40, you're going to need readers to use your phone. And you're probably going to need better contrast. Who else benefits? Over age 50, half the people may have conditions that affect how they see, ranging from macular degeneration, more severe cases, or even cataracts, which can be fixed. But you lose contrast and color. So that means we need to think about these things because so everybody has to use our stuff. What if you have an orange golf ball on a green background, like going in the grass? If you're colorblind, if you're a male, 10 to 12% of the population, you may not want to use orange golf balls. This is a simulation that shows using color, like orange and green. The diagonals are if you're red-green or green-red color deficient, which is the most common. The other one is not as common, but I have an um, IT guy that has the other one. <laughs> So the rest of us, too. We're all aging hopefully well and doing Zumba. <laughs> Using your phones, we have to use our phones and whatever device comes along. All of your UIs, apps and mobile, should be, have sufficient contrast so that I can pick it up and use it, no matter what it is. So this is, affects a lot of people. I did some calculations beforehand. I'd say 10% of people have mild to moderate conditions, including color blindness or color vision deficiencies that affect how they see things. We don't all see the same. If you have 2 million customers, or goal to have 2 million customers, that's 200,000 people who may want to just throw their phone away because they can't use your stuff. So it's a lot of people. So what do I ask my designers to do? And this applies to mobile apps as well as web, even though this is the Web Content Accessibility Guideline 2.0 AA. Contrast minimum. This is an example of body text has a higher contrast ratio than headings. I ask everybody to design a UI guideline if possible up front and document all the color combinations you're going to use, including all the different button colors, the colors of text you're going to use, and test them for color contrast. There's a nice ratio that takes care of both colorblind and contrast. You don't have to figure it out. The WebAIM tool does it for you. You enter your color codes, and it tells you right away if you pass. And look for double A. If you did triple A, you'd be black and white. And we don't want to do that. Here's an example of blue links. Blue links are kind of a pain, because you don't underline them. So if you do the, the top one, you can tweak the colors in the color contrast tool and make it pass. And you can just give that to your developer, or your designers can update their palettes and appropriately. Things you should check, we're getting back into uh, gradients. Take a look about how, how the dark text on the orange works better than the white. But I've had people say, well, shoot, the marketing, another when I was consulting, I said, well, what if you just put a black glow around it? It's easier to see. And what about mobile? Look what happens to the color choices here. So think about the choices, and then make sure you test both light and dark. And as you get better at it, you've, just like learning about typography, you'll be able to, to detect low contrast right away. This top left example, I would be careful if you're using disabled fields in your apps. And if you are, make sure you don't use default placeholder in the web because it doesn't pass. Don't, make, don't let people get confused because they think that doesn't, isn't a, a field they can enter the password. The bottom example has sufficient color contrast, meets the requirement, and it's easier to read. And you can do other visual treatments to give the affordance that once I've entered the content, I know what, how to use it. So it's not hard. If you have blue text on a white background, that's great. But if you have black in the footer, just underline the links in white, which passes. So make sure you think about all these different things to make sure that more people can use your products, that you can use your products when you age. 
So remember, check the color contrast for all the different elements you have on your page, your forms, your links, your content, your headings. You can document it, and it's easy to test. I put a bunch of resources on a um, GitHub page that you can access to play with these color contrast tools and the simulators I used in my presentation, because they're fun to get the awareness, to understand why it's important that people see differently, and we should support them. Thank you.